Hi everyone and welcome to the Halo Pure Nails YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show you some techniques on how to do an ombre nail. I'm going to do it with all of the systems. So first off I'm going to use Poly Build and if you'd like to follow along I'm going to use Cover Pink, Bright White, some clear for capping, your liquid control, rubber base coat and you'll need some trusty prep and scrub to wipe off the tacky layer. And you'll also need your poly build tool. So first of all I've just popped a little bit of the liquid control into a little dish and I'm going to start off with the bright white. And I'm just going to use a little bit more bead, maybe too big, on the edge of my tool there. I'm going to pop some rubber base on, even though I'm doing this on a tip, just so I can go through the process. So if this was a natural nail, you will need some rub a base coat on there and I'm going to pop that in the lamp and cure it for 30 seconds so now that's been in the lamp I am going to now apply my little white ball here and I'm just going to dip my brush into the liquid control and wipe off all the excess so that it's just damp and I'm just going to start by pressing this down So I like to press it down first so that it's even across the sides and then just work this to the end of the nail. And then once you're happy that it's fully covered on the end, nice and thin, because we're going to cap this in the end. We'll just make sure that it's a nice solid colour. And then I'm just going to blend this up the nail a little. Just so that it isn't a solid line. So you don't have to do this any particular way. Just make sure the solid line is just blended in. Just like that. So now I'm going to pop that in the lamp and I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. So that has been cured. And now I've cleaned my spatula to make sure there's no white on there. And I'm going to take out the cover pink. So because this area here is quite small and I want to show you how to do it in three beads, I'm just going to take this bead out quite small. And I'm just going to pop this just where that blend is. So I'm going to do the same thing and just pat this out sideways. And then I'm just going to pull it down the nail. So not really like a firm pressure but not really soft so a little bit medium. Just so you can blend the product in and if you push too hard you're just going to pop a dint in it. So glide your brush just nicely over the top. So now I'm happy with that blend, I'm just going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. So now that's cured, I'm going to take out my cuticle bead. And this is what I'm going to build my shape with. So I'm just going to pop that over the join there. I'm going to pat that out to the sides again. And then I'm going to do my cuticle first. And then I'm going to blend this down as well. So 
can just see the ombre there. So now I'm going to pop this in the lamp and cure this for 60 seconds. So once that's been in the lamp, I now need to cap this in clear. So I've got some clear on the end here and I only need to cap the white and the blend. I don't need to cap the pink. So I'm just going to pat this out to the sides. And I'm just going to work it down the nail to cover the white. And then any excess, just nip it off the side and you can use that for the next nail. So that's the ombre done there and it's all capped in. So I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. So this does come out the lamp with a tacky layer on. So I'm going to use me prep and scrub on a lint-free wipe. And just remove the tacky layer. So I'm going to file this into shape and pop some top coat on now. So I've filed in our top coat at that and that is the Poly Build Ombre. Now I think this looks divine, it's such a nice soft pink. So next up I'm going to do Halo Easy Build. So you will need your base coat. I'm going to use Copper Pink. Clear and your white easy build and your prep and scrub for the tacky layer so first off I'm just going to apply some base coat to the nail I know it doesn't need it again but I'm just going to go through the process so I'm just going to pop this in the lamp and cure it for 30 seconds so I'm going to take my white easy build and I'm going to pop a layer of this on the bottom of the nail. I'm going to make sure that this colour is nice and even. Take off my excess. I'm just going to pull this up the nail a little bit. Again, we're going to cover this, so don't worry too much about blending up the nail. Just make sure them sides are covered. So just like this. And then I'm going to pop that in the lamp and cure it for 30 seconds. Next, I'm going to use the cover pink. So first of all, I just want to do my slick layer on the nail. So I'm going to do this and just pull it down the nail just a little bit. So I'm just slightly covering over the blend the thinned out area that I did with the white and just pull that down just a little bit and then I'm going to get a good amount on my brush that was nowhere near a good amount for the size of this tip and then I'm going to pop some cover pink and just work my way down the nail I'm just covering that bit of blend there. I'm going to take off the excess again and just pull this down the nail. 
just slightly. I'm going to hold it over upside down two seconds and then I'm going to pop that in the lamp. We can see it's patchy in between so I'm going to go over with my second coat. So I'm going to go in with my second coat and I'm going to fill out that blended area a little bit. It's a little bit too patchy. So I'm just going to go down again with a slick layer. off my brush and just tap that little line and drag it down a little bit and because this nail is really rounded you can see all the products want the self level down the side so I'm just going to hold this upside down for a few seconds and this is just going to draw all the products to the middle of the nail and help create your apex just about done and then I'm just going to pop that in the lamp and cure it for 30 seconds. So next is to cap in the blend and the white. So I'm going to do that with me clear easy build. I only really need to cap this bottom ending because I've done that blend right the way down. So I popped my slick layer on and then I'm just going to Work the clear down the bottom of the nail. You can show your colour all of your sides too. And then I'm going to set that in the lamp again for 30 seconds. So I've took off the tacky layer with some prep and scrub and I'll pop some top coat over the top there. And how bright white is the white from the Easy Build, please. Lovely. So that was the Easy Build one all done. So next up, I'm going to do Halo Acrylic Powder. So you will need some clear powder. I'm going to use Cover Pink. Some acrylic white powder and your Halo Mega Bond and an acrylic brush of choice and some acrylic liquid. Now I'm just going to use the normal liquid. So first off you would do your Halo Mega Bond and apply this to the natural nail but again I'm just going to go through the process and pop a layer on. Next I'm going to use the white powder and just doing the same thing applying the white to the bottom of the nail so just a little bead and I'm just gonna put that on there And I'm just gonna work this down to the bottom of the nail. So again, just a nice thin layer. 
because we do need to cap this in and then same process just blend that up the nail so there isn't a solid white line there so I'm just gonna let that dry for one second so next I'm gonna go in with my middle bead and I'm gonna use the cover pink I'm just going to pop that just where the blend is. And then I'm just going to take my brush and just get on the very edge of that bead. And just slightly bring it down over the white. So the reason that I'll just tap my brush on the edge there and pull that edge down. If I was to go right up here and pull down, I'd be moving all of this product from where I've just put it and where I need it and dragging it all down over the white. So if you just tap the edge and pull the edge down, you just get that nice little subtle blend across the middle there. So next I'm going to go in with my cuticle bead and just pop that just over that line there and then flatten down my cuticle area and just pull that line down Now you can either build your apex with this cuticle bead that I've just done or if you just want to do your blend layer and lay a thin bead down here and then you can do your building, your shape and your apex with your clear. So I'm just going to get the clear powder out now, my gigantic pot of clear powder. This is 165 grams, this one at last, a little while. So again, to cap in with your clear, we're just going to go over the blend and pull down over the white. Just let that settle on a sec. And then work this down the nail to cover the white there. And you can show you cover right down the sides as well. So when it comes to filing, you don't file away any of that white. It's going to be protected with the clear. And then just need to wait for that to set and then I'll file and top coat. So I've filed this one and I have top coated it as well. And I think the acrylic and the poly build look really subtle. Oops. They're quite similar. So that is that one all done. And then I'll move on to the next. Hi, uh, so last but not least is the ombre with gel polish. So you can use your French white and basically whatever colour you want to go for and I'm going to go for cashmere. So first off I'm just going to put a layer of base coat on here and I'm going to pop this in the lamp and cure it. So I'm going to use a ombre brush for this. And first off, I'm just going to pop my layer of white on the bottom. So nice, even, thin layer. And then I'm just going to use my ombre brush and I'm just going to drag this up the nail just a little bit. 
don't need to worry too much so I'm going to pop a colour over the top just to thinning out that line a little so I'm going to pop that in the lamp and cure that one and because I've now got product on the hairs of my brush I'm just going to make sure that I clean them off to make sure them hairs are just nice and soft So next I'm just going to pop in another coat but I'm not going to cover the blend I just want to do the bottom bit just so the colour is nice and solid and then I'm going to just do the same thing and just break up the solid line so I'm basically just popping the ends of the hairs on my brush and just tapping it and pulling it along and pulling it up just to break that line up doesn't have to be perfect because again we're going to go over the top of it with different colour. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp and cure it. So that's my white all cured and you can see there's quite a few drag marks coming up there but I'm not worried at all because I'm going to cover over the top of it. So don't spend a lot of time getting rid of all those little marks because you're just going to cover it. So I'm going to go over with some cashmere. I'm going to go around my cuticle area and I'm just going to go to where the blend is so I've just covered over the blend there and then I'm just going to do the same thing pop the tip of my brush just into that cashmere and I'm just going to pat this and pull it down a little just again break away that solid line so that is still quite patchy so what I'm going to do is pop that in the lamp and go in with another coat so I'm just going to repeat the process again and go in at the cuticle and then I'm just going to pull that down again and same thing just tap and pull with my ombre brush now we have a lot of drag lines in there so what I'm gonna do is clean off my brush and just really pat this into the white tacky layer and just keep patting and patting and we'll slowly just start emerging like that so I'm going to pop that in the lamp and cure it so I've had that in the lamp there for the second coat and the colour is just nicely blended in there so we just need to remember with an ombre you have a solid colour on the top a nice blend in the middle which leads to the next solid colour on the bottom so this is one of the trickiest ones to do with gel polish but just persevere with it and keep on practicing and then just remember not to really ram your ombre brush into it just use the very edges and just tap and just pull down and use that tacky layer that's on the white to tack it and push it in and make that blend happen so I'm just going to top coat this now and I'm going to pop that in the lamp and cure that. So there we have all of the ombre nails, so we've got the poly build here which is a nice soft pink, acrylic powder, the easy build and the gel polish. Thank you!